I like my green with crystals like folders. Picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle though, make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle, from a juice to right street shit like JJ of dynamite. Slide me some dough, I show you an execution in the flesh. And promise not to leave nothing left. If you vomit, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting. Till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is. Ha 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 ha. Man, what's up, Melrose? What up, my guy? Intro is hot. That shit was fresh, The huh? intro is hot all the way up to the hallway. I like that. Oh, you like that? That was player. Yeah, man. I did that in incognito one night. Yeah. Niggas didn't even know. I just got out the car and had my shit still going and just walked all right up inside because mm-hmm. I had the whole vision. Real undercover like Living with the vision. What up, Melrose, though, man? I'm being silly. What's up with you, man? Uh, man, I'm I'm ready to get silly with you, brother. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Well, shit. I'm Mike Robertson. We live on Mike Robertson Boulevard. Thanks everybody for joining. Word up. Yeah. To the right of me, I got Mr. Melrose Uncut, the most interesting comic in the world. In the world, I've I've searched high and low. Man, still ain't found no, it I yet. Can't huh? Find a more interesting motherfucker. So. Niggas have not found a man. more interesting guy. That's. I found some interesting people. Yeah, just not more. Yeah, not more. <laughs> they don't have the little levels to the game like mm-hmm. you do, right? I feel you, man. Melrose got the fresh denim on. Yep. I was, I was ready for the uh, for the nineties chick. Oh, you, know? you was yeah, ready, huh? Come on, Melrose, got the part you cracking. I was ready for the good girl. Man, you came themed up, huh? Yes, sir. What Melrose is talking about is uh, my home girl JT from the Good Girls. She was allegedly <laughs> going to join allegedly. us. <laughs> I was so excited all day long. And maybe she's having some, um, you know. Traffic. Some, yeah, traffic. Traffic's or some a monster stuff, out there tonight. You know, she got a daughter and she got a life, you know what I mean? So anything can happen or whatever. So anyway, it's all love. That's my homegirl, man, from fucking 1980-something. Mm. 80 about. You know what I mean? That 90s flavor. 90s was you, flavor. What was you doing in the 90s? Melrose, you was in high school? Uh, yeah, I was in high school. Wasn't it? Okay. Do you, you remember the good girls, though, right? I do remember the good oh. girls. The high socks. The, uh, they look like uh, St. Bernard's. Ah, oh, they, they did they look a little St. Bernard's, St. Bernard's, Bernard's yeah. levels, huh? Yes, yes. That's almost like exactly what it was. That's the St. Like, Bernard's. The colors were different. Yeah, the colors was a little yes. different. I remember the good girls. Man. You know what's funny, dude, is I have um, my little cousins, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so so the good girls, they they like my homegirls from school, right? So, you know, they just like, like my homegirls, right? Okay. <clears throat> So what tripped me out one time, though, was how, um, you know, I went over to my cousin's house, and they was like, you know, 7th grade, 8th grade, and shit like that. And I walked in the room, dude, I kid you not, and they was debating on who the hottest chicks was, right? And literally, they had her, they posters on the wall. Mm, they had mm. they was debating on which one was the finest and all that. And I was like, "Wow, man, that's when that's how that's when I knew, like, damn, shit's my big. homegirls are yeah, this shit's big because they, they was looking at right on and shit." I miss that, that era, man. When niggas had the posters up, that was I know. Whatever happened to posters? What happened to poster game? That shit dude? was so big. Posters represented, man. Uh, man, that's how you know you who you really liked. Yeah. When you walk in that room, that's how you know, like, well, okay, this nigga like Big Daddy came for real. <laughs> yeah, you this really like that Big Daddy nigga. pictures everywhere. Right. It ain't oh. just a coincidence that you got the cut, nigga. Oh, a Heavy D fan, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> who did you have on your shit, man? Um... I wasn't really allowed to put posters on my wall. Ah, oh, man. You had the parents that was yeah, like, like nigga, no, no, nigga, no. You're going to fuck up my take, paint. Yeah, take that <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah, get that down. down. Take that man, down. Man, I had, okay, so I had a number of posters through the years, but in high school, I, the last one I remember that rocked my wall where I, I got a picture of it still, nigga, was the Vanity Six poster. Mm. And, nigga, my mom was too through, nigga, when I threw that shit up. But it was like, they, they had on the lingerie, mm-hmm. but... 
they was dressed and shit. Could, you couldn't see nothing, you know what I mean? But that shit was racy, nigga, back then. <laughs> and it, let me clarify. It wasn't that my parents wouldn't let me put posters up. I shared a room with my big brother. He wouldn't let me put posters oh, up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah so okay, yeah. Tell it like he, you. Yeah, he was rocking Sade. Oh, he had Sade ooh. pictures up. And, uh, Sade, I love Sheila you. Sheila E. He was a big Sheila E. Oh, uh, Sheila E. Oh, he used to mm. fuck with Sheila E. Tough. Mm. Mm. I thought that nigga was Prince for a minute. Like, nigga, man, really? Let her go, <laughs> man. <laughs> let her. That ain't your girl, nigga. Hey, can we meet again at Lake Minnetonka? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that shit was called. Shout out Tom Cat. Tom Cat. Oh, that's yeah. who we talking about? Yeah, my my oldest brother. Really? Yeah. Tom Cat. Damn. Tom Black Cat. This is a mo. Uh, you There's don't a know lot of niggas named yeah, Tom. It was. Was Tom he a Cat. breaker? No, he, he was, was a modder. He was a modder. Yeah. Oh, I remember that little. Yeah. yeah, I remember that stage. Niggas yeah. was modding. Yeah. Tapered Man. khakis Tapered. with the penny loafers with the quarter in them. This nigga had a quarter in his penny uh, loafers. He was, uh, so he was big ball and yeah. shot calling like, on a nigga yeah. like. 25 pennies at yeah. once. Nigga, I'm going to stretch this motherfucker out. You ain't never yeah. going to get this quarterback. Taught me everything, though. I wasn't no penny loafer type nigga, though, man. I never huh? had none. Nah. Wow, I, that surprises me. Now that you wear them. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're wearing them nowadays. Now that you wear them now. <laughs> yeah. Now that they're a staple uh, in your shit right now. Uh, it's funny to me uh, that you never wore them back in the day. <laughs> you were late with it, swag, huh? I didn't like hard ass <laughs> shoes, man. I like my mm. shit to be comfortable, man. Them motherfucking penny loafers was hard as shit, nigga. I tried that shit on and motherfucking... See, I think it's something about my foot, too, man, the way my shit is shaped or something, because... Long. Like, I tried that shit on, dude, and it was hurting like a motherfucker. And mm. then, like, you know how they, they don't come with a penny? You got to, like, put the yeah, penny yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah, 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 So, nigga, I tried to put the little penny in just to test it with the mirror at the shit. Nigga, I couldn't even get the penny in the motherfucker. Oh, uh, your game was rough. It was rough, man. Yeah. So, I you didn't... Do, well, you're probably a Creepers type of guy. Did you fuck uh, with the Creepers? Now, let me tell you, I did have one pair of suede creeps. Okay. And they were sweet. But they kind of fucked my feet up, too. But I will sport them, though, nigga, with my feet hurting at the party and shit, nigga. Just like, uh, mm-hmm. uh. I've funny. done that before, man. Creepers. Creepers. Um, so, uh, what's been happening, Mel Rose, man? What you doing, man? I seen you had some shit the other night at, your, uh, at Black Hollywood that was like, Nigga, I saw like weed vendors and oh yeah yeah yeah. Fucking, it, was the, it, was was a, it was a sesh domino tournament, and they brought in all of these um, weed cats from all over California. Man, it was probably about nineteen pounds of weed in that motherfucker. Man, and everybody was trading weed and sampling weed, and it was it was it was pretty lit though. DJ Count was in the building, had some performers. Uh, some vent- food vendors. They had some uh, graffiti artists that came out and drew some murals right on the spot. She was dope. Damn, that shit sound dope, man. It was super dope. So, so they everybody brought their different strands of weed and and, and niggas. What was it like a um, like a contest or something? Not really a contest. Kind of like a convention. Oh, like a convention of sorts. Yeah, for <laughs> of sorts. <laughs> well, it's conventional. The nigga had a convention of sorts. Ah oh, man, well, this shit looked like a fucking bubble, nigga. Like, hey, I was, was like, damn. It was mad for you. should have pulled up. It looked like some shit that would be against the law and shit. No, it was totally legal. <laughs> Fuck what you talking about. It was totally legal. Every every bit of it was legal. <laughs> the fuck am I talking about, man? I'm sorry, man. I just... Check this guy for yeah, a camera check again. Check this nigga for <laughs> fucking fed associate. How, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> on air accuse me of illegal on activity. air even <laughs> the fuck oh man we talking about haircuts man what you talking about man this shit is a barbershop man but no it was super dope man we had a lot of fun yeah i had a lot Full of fun. vendors everybody in there had the um like uh the the edible type food so oh shit like, it was what? like edible pizza and was you sampling shit hell yeah oh man Damn. Felt weird as fuck too. Why? Because you had so many different types different of- types of edibles circulating through my body at one time. <laughs> it was a weird experience. Nigga, like my elbows is tingling. Nigga, my wrists. It's a real Jimi Hendrix oh, type man. feeling. Damn. It was cool. Pizza was bomb as fuck. P- 
Pizza, huh? Ooh, you had the herbal pizza? Yeah, herbal pizza. Oh, man. So, like, instead of oregano, they got, like, herbs, and they just, like, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how they do it. I think they, like, mix it in the sauce. And, and it be in the butter and the sauce everything. and the bread Taco and Vendors everything. had, like, uh... That sound like death, Souped nigga. up, uh, sauces. Herbal sauces? All salsa. All herbal, herbal salsa. Yeah. Damn! All the salsas were herbal. Shit was crazy. Wow, man. What the fuck is the world coming to? Some high shit. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's like what it was meant to be like, man, in the Garden of Eden and shit, man. It's just like, don't eat that apple because there's weed over there. <laughs> Why would you eat the apple? <laughs> don't eat that shit. There's a chronic leaf. There's chronic leaf, man. What's happening in the world, man? I don't know. I, I, I didn't really want to talk about that whole Vegas shit, man. Niggas done talked it to death, man. But that shit was kind of crazy. It was crazy. It, it was it was just, it was bizarre. Yeah, it, it was wasn't bizarre. crazy. Shit was bizarre. Like nigga had twenty seven guns up in the room. He was there for three days and shit. Nigga had cameras up filming himself. They they found a note too. Oh really? What that shit say? Fuck country music. Did it? No. <laughs> I don't know. I did look at the country music aspect of it and be like, dude, that would never have been shot at that concert. He said that R and B live. <laughs> yeah, niggas need to shoot at the Tri Car Quest concert. No nigga. sir, <laughs> if you want no, me sir. there? No sir, niggas. But um, it was a man. fucked up situation. Nah, it's man. fucked up, dude. What's wrong yeah. with these people, man? So look, here's my question though. What is, what's your thoughts, man, on the limitations of these gun laws, man? Because it's like. You need an AK-47 if you're going to war and shit, but why must a nigga be able to just buy one, dude, with, like, no background check? You don't have to know where he's at or nothing. Why do you need an AK-47? You got one purpose, nigga. You ain't defend about to hunt. Yourself. You ain't about to hunt it's, it's with that motherfucker. It's a defensive weapon. It's a defensive weapon. Okay, so um, you are, you're in favor of the AK-47 mass I'm distribution in, uh, without um, background checks? Uh, Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. See, the thing is, like, guns don't kill people. People kill people. So it's not like, what about the people who just want to, like, you know, there's going to be a time, I think, where niggas are going to have to bear arms. And it's going to be that kind of party where you're going to wish you had an AK-47. That's true. That's true. In the building. You're going to wish you had 23 rifles and an arsenal of bullets. That's why they're taking all of the shit from niggas so that you won't be able to defend yourself in such a battle. And it's coming. It's going to come. Definitely going to come. It's going to come down to that, man. That's true, man. I stay ready, man. Personally, I just think that, like... You got an AK? Unfortunately... Man, what the fuck? That's just like the same shit I just asked you about. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) Shit, I thought we were just putting it all out there today. Nigga, I got a motherfucking um, AK-40 ounce of OD, nigga. <laughs> That's going to help. Nah, man. I know. Like, throw, like 40s at nigga. <laughs> this shit is bulletproof, nigga. Clack, clack. Nah. My point is, man, since we live in this world where um, it is unlawful for you to do certain shit, where we don't, like, rule, we don't, like, govern ourselves... We don't police ourselves. We got to rely on this force to do it for us. Mm -hmm. Well, in that world, man, these crazy motherfuckers, man, need to not be able to just get 40 motherfucking AKs and shit, man. Something got to give at some point. He probably didn't purchase them all legally, I would assume. Most people who have 40 AKs don't get them from the store. Well, they go to these gun uh, shows. That's where they get them. I mean, any nigga I know with AK didn't go to a gun store or a gun rally or a gun convention. Niggas are different. Yeah. Okay. This is a rich white dude. He just went and bought a lot of them. Mm. Dude is rich. That's the reality of uh, America. Like, America has guns. I don't know if you know, but these niggas got guns. When I say these niggas, I mean these white niggas. They have guns. They got lots of them. They have a lot. They are stockpiled with arsenal. They, they are, yeah. These are, are the people who are allowed to keep their weapons. <laughs> yeah. They tell niggas to turn in your weapons for Nikes. Well, I believe in weapons myself, man. I believe that we're going to have to go to war one day and we're going to have to do some damage. Yeah. Um, 
one thing they're talking about now, one of the bill that's on, 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 on the table right now is to legalize silencers. Mm. That's pretty heavy. Mm. So, like, because right now it's illegal to have a silencer, but just to think of the mayhem from the legalization of silencers, man. Pew, pew, <laughs> pew, pew, <laughs> pew, pew. That's when you pew, a nigga. Pew, pew, pew. pew. Nigga, it be sounding like... Nigga, don't nobody hear that shit, man. Please, I don't know, man. I think that's going too far. And yeah. then, and then the dude got the automatic clip. This would trip me out, though. It's just too many inconsistencies in the shit. Like the dude had this upgrade to his AKs to make it automatic, right? Okay. So putting that shit on your gun is illegal, mm-hmm. but purchasing it is not illegal. Mm. So it's, legal, so it's legal for them to sell it. You just not. You just supposed to like buy it and like not really use it. It's the white man. <laughs> what is that? The white man. I could. I could use it if I want to. <laughs> I upgraded my AK. <laughs> I need rapid fire. <laughs> ah. Why do you do that? Because it's I. I've got to have it. I got to have it. I'm the white man. Oh, man. They made it for me, not you. <laughs> you can't do it. I can. Uh-huh. I have the advantage. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga be having a cheat code to everything, even the AK. Like, God, damn, you upgraded the AK, nigga. Oh, God, yes, man. Yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> I've got 27 <laughs> of them. <laughs> Ready. Oh, man. I don't know, man. That's some fucking weirdo shit, dude. It is weirdo shit, man. But, you know, we live in a weird-ass world, and these things aren't new, man. I think white people have been doing this kind of shit since the beginning of time. Look, let me tell you this, man. Let me give some folks some advice, man, from a motherfucker that's been shot at before. You've been <clears throat> shot at before, Mike? Yes, multiple times. Who that's another shooting at you, That's another Mike? story, man. That's another story. But... Let me find out. I ain't if you at a phone. motherfucking concert okay. and motherfuckers is shooting, right? Your first instinct is to get out on the ground, mm-hmm. right? Is everybody get out? True. I agree with the get down because you don't know where that motherfucker at. He could be like right behind you, ten feet behind you, or at the at the at the water station or wherever. You don't know where right, the right, fuck right, he right, is. Right. But once you realize this motherfucker is shooting from up in the goddamn tower and shit man you got to get up and run man yo you got to be moving man take your chances on getting hit as a moving target and not this motherfucker just laying there until this nigga reload his shit again and keep fucking blasting man get moving dude so do you run during the fire or during the reload well i what's your advice to people in concerts when they hear rapid fire you move during the fire or the reload. Now, look, that's a good distinction right there, man. You know what I'm saying? You're hitting on something because yeah. the safest time is during the reload. Okay. But you don't, you can't know that, though. You don't know that he's alone. You don't know if it's another motherfucker shooting. You don't know if you got another gun that's ready and he and then don't, you don't never feel no reload. Like, you don't know, man. You got to get the fuck up and go. Dude, where he was shooting was a quarter mile away in distance. Mm. A quarter mile. So fuck that shit, bro. Get so your he had ass a nasty up. scope on him. No, he was blasting in the crowd, man. He was just uh, yeah, it was, it was jam packed. Little concert sold out shit. So he was just like ta da 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 da. Then get another one ta da 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 da. Like man, please, you gotta get your ass up and be out of there. Don't be the ones, man. It's still there. And look, and then if you shoot me while I'm running, with well, shit, man, that's the best I could do. And look, think about this: fifty nine people die and six. Hundred people got shot. Wow, that's a that, lot of motherfuckers. That is a lot of motherfuckers. Do you guys think he did it alone? Well, good question. Portis just asked, "Did he do it alone?" They some some motherfuckers is saying he wasn't alone. Like it's two windows that's busted open, and it's supposed to be a second gunman up there, but. He did tape the whole shit. So he had cameras set up in his room as well as the hallway. So we will eventually know, you know? I don't think we will. You don't think the tape's going to no, come sir. out? No, sir. Man, them tape's coming out. Nigga. No, sir. Please. Not in this day and age. No, sir. 
the the security guard nigga gonna leak them motherfucking tapes. Somebody gonna leak that shit. I think this is a bigger distraction for some of the things that are happening in the world, and this shit may have been set up. This is kind of like a nine eleven type of situation. Oh, could very well be. Yeah, I mean, it's a big distraction. I'm not gonna say that can't be the case. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking about some real shit, well, man. Look, here's the thing, dude. Mm-hmm. Anything that's on the news, anything, it's is a, big, a distraction yes, it is. from the real shit. Yes, it is. So it includes this and everything else. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, motherfuckers died on this shit. You know what I mean? And 600 motherfuckers got shot. If you think about AK-47, how strong it is, uh, AK, you could shoot an AK through a house. It'll go all the way through the house and into the next house and kill your ass. That's how powerful the motherfucker is so 600 people getting hit i'm sure some bullets was going like through one motherfucker to the next Mm. just craziness but i don't know man you're right it's like what's going to change what's going to happen who's going to get paid from this somebody gets paid from every tragedy bro and 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 that could be security companies camera guys Fucking, um, you know, Mandalay Bay, or they sneaky ass. Yeah, some let that nigga in the room with all them fucking guns. Shame man. on y'all, Mandalay Bay. I, can, I propose right now, nobody go to Mandalay Bay for at least two years. It would be easy to get some guns in a hotel room, yeah, nigga, in Vegas. Yeah, oh. don't check your bags. Oh, and you bring some fucking duffel bags full of guns. But damn, the nigga did have ten. They say he had ten bags. Somebody had to carry that's, them motherfuckers. That's a red light, right? Motherfuckers don't let you just walk in Mandalay Bay and not grab your bags for you. Let me tell <laughs> like, you that don't right touch now. That. <laughs> Ain't no don't touch that on 20 motherfucking bags of guns. Somebody picked up a bag of AK like, woo, this yeah, motherfucker like, heavy, sir. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> <laughs> Here's 200. Shut up. I'm the white man. <laughs> hey. Is this your banana clip that just fell? <laughs> I'm going to a gun convention <laughs> yeah. next year. <laughs> this is for training. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fill some shit tonight. <laughs> Man, dude. Nasty. Uh, but, uh, you know, special shout out to all the families that lost loved ones in that tragedy. That's real. It is a, you know, it is a tragedy. And I don't mean to make light of it, but I'm a comedian. I don't mean to make light of it either, man. Um, it's really unfortunate, man. And I, and I would hate to be a victim out mm. there, man, on that shit. I man. hate to be a victim of anything violent. Yeah. So, I don't I don't want to be a victim of anything violent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, not, not in Las Vegas, not in Los Angeles. Mm. I live no under the where. scope every day. I walk outside every day feeling like I could be next. <laughs> It's crazy out here. Where'd you learn that, uh, Melrose? On your second year of third grade? Is that What's what? that? The, that philosophy. You just uh, No, no, no. That was kindergarten, my nigga. I saw a nigga get slapped up by, by a fourth grader. I said, I get, that could have been me. Ah! <laughs> For real? I live under the fear of... Do you remember that? I do. That? I do. I remember the first time I saw a nigga get slapped up, too. Oh, yeah? I literally remember it, dude. And his shit seemed like it stung like a motherfucker, like... How? I'm like, dude, I don't want that. I think they got slapped up over lunch tickets. Too. Oh, lunch if tickets. If I remember correctly, look, it was over a lunch ticket. Look, I don't know if it was over the tickets or not specifically, but the shit was in the lunch line. Oh, yeah. It always <laughs> happened in the lunch line. <laughs> the shit was in the lunch the line. The lunch line is a dangerous place. <laughs> you tell your, you teach your kids how to operate in the lunch line. Keep your, keep your lunch ticket in your pocket until you get there. Yeah, really, though, dude. Yeah, niggas get snatched up with the lunch tickets. Man. Did you have? I don't think Mike ever had a lunch ticket. That's the crazy part about that. Man, things. yeah, right. Mike, you never had a lunch ticket. Nigga, please. Mike, this you is... never had a lunch ticket. Do not try to play hardcore right now, nigga. You never had a lunch ticket. Ah, uh, try to get some street <laughs> pants. Yeah, awesome. You lunch never tickets. had a lunch ticket. Ah, uh, You might have bought funny. one, but you never had a lunch uh, ticket. Ah, I might have bought one. Yeah, yeah. You get these. You'd have had a. You'd have had a. You'd have had a booklet. <laughs> I didn't have a booklet. <laughs> <laughs> there was not a booklet of lunch tickets assigned to your name. Oh, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet. <laughs> He's willing to put money he on it. He is a sack yeah. lunch guy. Oh, from- in your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no bologna sandwich, mom. Nigga, I wanted that no. rubber pizza, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 
a goddamn hamburger that wasn't even a burger and shit. Yeah, man. high C since kindergarten. Man, dude. I used to like them little milks, dude. The, the milk, man. Niggas be trading. That's when, like, prison trading started. first started, nigga. It was in elementary let school. You, let me get you a, a yeah, two chocolate get, milks yeah, for an orange juice. For the cookie, nigga. Who want these cookies? Nigga, I don't like the cookies. Give me your milks. Nigga, that shit started early. I used to literally go through campus every day yelling extra county. Extra county because you had extra tickets? No, I was trying to get, like, some. sometimes people just didn't want to eat what was ever being oh. served. So they had to extra county. Who don't want the county? Uh. So I, I come up. I got maybe like six lunch tickets at one time. Now I'm starting dishing them off. Like, oh, okay. Give me 50 cent for this one. Okay. Uh. Uh, uh. Nigga got them tickets. Got them tickets. Got, got them tickets. I got the counties. <laughs> got the county. After, after your extra county, uh. the next one is I got the counties. See, I came from an era where niggas all had the tickets, but you didn't like, it wasn't cool to have the tickets. Niggas be bagging, man. I come from a bagging era, dude. Niggas Me too. Fuck you up for t- having them goddamn tickets. So you wait to the last minute and pull that shit out, nigga. Like, ah, nigga, you didn't see my tickets. I came from an era of um, crack addicted parents. So, like, you needed a ticket if you was going to eat. It wasn't a joke. Crack like, addicted parents. Yeah. You needed a ticket. That yeah. was that was crucial. That's all you had. Yeah, like yeah, you held you had that ticket with pride. Like I'm in the ticket line. I am guaranteed. <laughs> I'm eating my lunch today. We're eating. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit. I don't know what's gonna happen when I get home, but right now I got breakfast <laughs> and lunch. Nigga, this is no, a- <laughs> nigga. I know what's gonna happen when I get home. <laughs> Bag on that, nigga. Nothing. I'm gonna be full. Air pudding and wood and wind mm-hmm. sauce, nigga. <laughs> That's what you're going to get at the crib. What was your favorite, like, hood um, Lunchable? Hood Lunchable? What's a hood Lunchable? Like shit, like when you got home from school that you grubbed on. Uh, Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly was a go-to meal. That's a classic. Yeah. That was two dinners sometimes. Man, I think peanut butter and jelly might very well be the best combination ever. You ever tried it on a um, biscuit, fresh warm Ooh, biscuit? Oh yes, I have a hot biscuit. There's Ooh. nothing better than a peanut butter and jelly biscuit. Describe it, Melrose. How you do it? Um, you take the biscuit right out of the oven. You put the peanut butter on the hot biscuit, and the shit melts like oh, butter. Yes, it does. And you follow that with the jelly. And you sandwich that motherfucker and mm, eat mm, it immediately. Mm. You have to eat it hot. Oh, yes, you do. I'm talking do. about the best sandwich biscuit you ever going to taste. And Amen. Amen preferably that, man. do the, the uh, peanut, the, the the shit with the nuts in it. Wait, what? Not the just fuck? the creamy peanut butter. Oh, the crunchy? The crunchy. Damn, you just put a little texture to your shit. Might have fucked it up for me, man, right there. You don't eat peanuts, man? No, I do, man, but not with the biscuits, man. I don't, I have you ever tried it? That's the question. <sighs> True, I have not. Man, <laughs> man, don't fucking talk about shit you ain't never tried, man. I ain't fuck up nothing. I just turned you on to some shit. Yeah, and I'm fighting it over here. <laughs> yeah, shit. Cool, I just man. said it was my favorite shit ever. Yeah, and now I'm fighting it. Mm-hmm. Look, do you fuck with the strawberry? Preserve. Pre- preserve type shit? Strictly. Oh, strictly. Strictly. So you want to say jelly, I mean, nigga. No, no, sir. Oh, you do the strawberries? Pre- what strictly. About, what about that shit like apricot and shit like that? Love it. Oh, God, nigga. Love it. All really? that old Nasberry Farm <laughs> jelly type Berry shit. Farm, they should be good, but man, they go too far, man, with a few of them, nigga. They got prune jelly, nigga. You be we eating that we shit? We don't do prune, no. I don't do prune or the like. Um, the raspberry shit, the shit with all the seeds in it, I don't like that. Yeah. I just like it to be gooey and a little texture with the fruit. Damn. Nigga said peanut butter and jelly. I would say that that's probably my shit too, man. Peanut butter and jelly. A nigga used to do fucking creative shit though too. You so know? you peanut butter and jelly? Huh? No, no, no. Oh. In addition to. In addition to like. Elaborate. Certain type shit with your noodles, you know. You don't have your noodles regular, your, your ramen got to add a little shit to it. A little cayenne. Okay. Maybe um, some little um, taco meat that was left over from okay, last night. Okay, okay, Put that shit in with your little noodles. Okay. Maybe chop up a few items. 
sprinkle some cheese, nigga. That shit be good, nigga. Okay. Mm. Some real gel shit. Yeah, nigga. Add a few more low calories to it, but it doesn't matter, nigga, because you're fucking eight years old. This nigga had an exquisite spread going on. Man, fucker. <laughs> like look, taco meat. Yeah, nigga. Taco <laughs> meat. Cayenne pepper. Paprika. Mm. Ritz crackers. <laughs> 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 nigga, Ritz crackers was special, nigga, in my era. That's that wasn't no usual shit. Niggas didn't have rich crackers a lot. No, they didn't. They would. That was a um, a delicacy. <laughs> yeah. They only got that on like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Like, that was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving tuna crackers. And hey, look, no, but look, it would be for like the dressing on Thanksgiving. They, they squ- would yeah, crumble that up. shit up. Uh, yeah. And you like try to get some and shit. Stop before they, get out of yeah, there. Yeah. Put that cracker those. back. Yeah. To eat that shit. I didn't even like white people so much. I didn't. I, I didn't eat crackers for years. <laughs> but do you eat them now? <laughs> <laughs> like a motherfucker. <laughs> I be eating them crackers. I look at it different now. I'm like fuck them crackers. Mm, it's nourishment. It is. A cracker could be good for you. Man, I just watched this shit. What the health? You heard of that shit? What the health? Yeah, I've never heard of that. What the health is a movie about? Well, it's about health. Okay. But what it's talking about is the idea that we would live way, 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 way longer and better if we didn't eat meat. I believe it. <clears throat> no animal products whatsoever. I believe so it. So that includes meat, cheese, milk, anything that comes from an animal. I believe it. Just how you see how they treat animals and the shit that they feed them and the yeah. conditions that they put them under. <clears throat> Uh, should make you not want to eat meat anymore. That's right. Well, let me tell you should. this, man. If you see this movie right here, you better be prepared to not want to eat meat. Like, if you're like a meat-ass type motherfucker. Do you still eat meat? Man, it's fucked me up. It's only been about two weeks, and I've had like a couple little little bites, but it's really made me peel back majorly. I'm like a 90-10 vegan type nigga. Wow. So, like, I'm on a day-to-day, man, I just eat, try to eat right and shit. But if I, like, say I pulled up to your crib and, uh, or not your crib, but any crib, a nigga, grandma's fa- famous chicken or something, nigga, I'm going to get up at that chicken, nigga. You know what okay, I mean? Okay. But when I get back to my regular life, I'm trying to eat right. That's a good thing. I've been trying to work on that. It's hard for me. I don't know. Like, It's rough. Cause you're addicted. That's what it talks about. You literally I am addicted. are addicted. I'm addicted. It should be calling me to the shit that's in the food. It be calling you. It be too. calling me. <laughs> I had some turkey meatloaf call me the other day. Uh, it was like it rang my phone. Like nigga, what are you gonna do? Leave me here? I'm stranded in the pot. Stranded. Come in the pick pot. your boy up. I know, man. Come get me up out of Come here. Come get man. me up out of here, man. Where's my bell, <laughs> man? Come on, man. Get, get some of that barbecue sauce and come get a nigga. Man, think oh. of the shit you had to give up, man, to give up meat, dude. Barbecue. Everything. Goddamn tacos, Everything nigga. known to dinner. Chili cheese fries. Oh, not chili cheese fries. Nigga can't stop that. Burritos. <sighs> ribs. Nigga, nothing, dude. You can't even have pizza with ch- extra cheese. No more You times. can't even have pizza. Yeah, you can't have pizza. That got cheese in it. You can't even have pizza. What if niggas be having, dude? I don't like that shit where they try to like have like pe- like cheeseless pizza and shit, where it's just the bread and the That's sauce. Dumb as fuck. The fuck. It's dumb as fuck. Nigga, just give it's me dumb. some dip and some breadsticks. I just got the bread, the sauce, and the and the vegetables. Yeah, exactly. Nigga, that's mm-hmm. not pizza. That's pasta. That's a sandwich, nigga. What are you doing? <laughs> that's a pita. Yeah, yeah. That's a warm pita. That's a veggie gyro, nigga. Roll that shit up and eat it. For real. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't know, man. It, it, it did affect me majorly, dude. They talked about some crazy shit in there, man. And they showed, like, what they eat and talked about the lies and just it's crazy, bro. I've heard we haven't eaten real chicken since the seventies. Really? Is that when it changed? I, I think, think it, I think this film talks about the seventies being a change. It's funny that you said that. No, no, it was real shit. Um I think the I forget what the documentary was called, but they were saying that people haven't experienced a real chicken since the seventies. It's true. What about chicken nuggets though, nigga? That's the nigga chickens don't even have nuggets. 
Man, the chicken nuggets are real, man, Rose. Real what, nigga? They're real chicken, man. No, they're not. Not from McDonald's. Nigga, that shit is... I opened up a McDonald's chicken nugget, and I couldn't figure out that shit why is they even called this shit chicken. That shit is chicken squares, nigga. They just dick cut out the chicken in a square. That shit was like a sponge. <laughs> it was a sponge and nigga chicken batter. bob <laughs> batter sponge. Nah, man, I think that shit is real, man. Don't fuck with McDonald's, nigga. I fuck with McDonald's, but not f- I fuck with them for the Wi Fi. Ah, uh, it's funny. I don't fuck with McDonald's, man. I don't even trust them niggas. I worked at McDonald's before, man. We used to do some fucked up shit, man. Every nigga that worked at any fast food restaurant did some fucked up shit to man, the food it was and not to nice. the people. Let me tell y'all people, man, when you order some shit, you don't like what's going on in the restaurant, god damn it. You better leave. Yeah, and you better uh, say that shit when you get out to the ooh. car, because they be listening, waiting for somebody to be like, hey, is homeboy talking shit over there? Is he talking shit? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to send it back uh, to the kitchen? Yeah, you know what, homie, since you... um. You know, since we had a problem, we gave you two meats, man. You know what <laughs> I mean? So don't. Nigga, nigga give you the one, one that with fell ass on, the floor. on it and <laughs> yeah. one with flow on it. <laughs> <laughs> Extra gravy. Taste that. Do you like that, sir? <laughs> I bet you do. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the fuck, man? Let's take a break, Melrose, man. Play a quick song. Um, Porters have some nice jazz for us. Play this jazzy ensemble. Let's do it. Jazz ensemble. <laughs> nice. Man, y'all see dude, look, when 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 we just tuned back in, y'all missed y'all caught one bar, but there was ninety eight other ones, man. Y'all missed all nice. Of I like jazz, man. I think jazz is one of those sophisticated sounds that a lot of people take for granted. Man, people sleeping on jazz, man. Yeah, jazz will put you to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll it'll do that. <laughs> Jazz, dude, jazz is the freestyle of music, bro. Mm, mm. It's, a, it's, it's, it's the music that is the freestyle of music, man. You think it's a freestyle? Jazz is a freestyle. Jazz is a freestyle. Is that a fact, or are you just making shit up as you nah, go? No, man, motherfuckers be playing shit, dude. You go see a jazz ensemble, nigga, that's a re- niggas is about it, about it. Like, like the nigga JMD that was here, remember? Mm-hmm. Man, them motherfuckers be playing shit, nigga, and will never do the same shit twice. Mm. Now, they got tunes. They got jazz tunes that right, are right, right, written right. that, like, yeah, you can follow the rhythm and the melody, but then they just break out into some freestyle. I mean, what? Hey, Portis, am I saying this right? What? Jazz is a jazz freestyle. Jazz is like is he freestyle, making this shit up? right? Some of it is. Oh, so. yeah. oh, some of it is. Okay. So some niggas be having, like, they written rhymes and shit? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, everybody don't have those skills. What do you think about, like, because, you know, like, Coltrane, um, 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 Bird, um, <clears throat> all those guys, right? Mm-hmm. How do they compare to, like, Kenny G and shit like that? You like them motherfuckers? Hell no. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I, I they they got like, a place. They got a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say I'm, I'm shitting on Kenny G because there's some Kenny G songs I fuck with. But 
It ain't the same. No, not at all. I think Kenny G is like a a, a Eminem. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Eminem gets respect, he deserves respect because he he's nice. He is nice, and so Kenny G is like an Eminem in the game. He should be happy with that. These <laughs> motherfuckers are so they study it so much that sometimes they become better. I mean, it's true. Mm-hmm. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, they got like Michael Franks and Sting and shit. Got them motherfuckers it's tight. They 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 hung around niggas so much that they mimicked it, took it home and worked it with some real work ethic. That's one thing I like about the white man. He's a he will work your shit like <laughs> and master it. I'm telling you, like don't do shit around white people that you don't want them to mimic and perfect. They will nigga frame by frame your shit. Like Man. wait, 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 wait. What did he do with that stick? Ah, motherfuckers. That's that's the one thing I respect about the white man. The one thing I don't respect is they will take your shit and then mm. patent it and say it was theirs. Let me tell you this: whites <clears throat> really respect the arts. Yes, they do. Like like they they admire the arts. Mm -hmm. They look at it like that's some some talented shit. Where well, we kind of take it for granted because we have a lot of like. Deep down. Natural shit. We yeah, just do it. natural shit. Niggas just do it. Ah. The way a nigga dress. White people look at that shit and say, you know what? That's a style. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell by the way I use my That's walk. That's urban attire. Man, an urban attire. <laughs> you know what's funny, dude? Okay, so I was in this uh, video, this TLC video, right? Which one? Man, I don't even remember the song, actually. Damn. You it was when they so was in those videos. big... videos. They was in these big-ass swings. Do you remember the video, POTUS, when when they were... TLC was in those super big swings? Was that Creep? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, dude, look, I was on set, right, or whatever. <clears throat> so, you know, like, you go to the video, and they would be a bunch of motherfuckers, and they go through picking motherfuckers or whatever. Right, right, right. So, my homegirl was, you know, in production. So she was like, pick that nigga right there, whatever. So me and my homies was in there dancing and shit. Boom. And then she came and then, then this producer came up and said, get him out of here. And pointed to me. It was like, get him out of here. We need somebody more hip hop. <laughs> and it was like, and look. He has penny loafers on. And I had on some shell toes, nigga. I had on some jeans with a, some kind of fresh t-shirt. I was like, damn, nigga, is this not it, the shit no more? And like. What's funny is when they replaced me. With who? They pulled in like a Carl Kanai type nigga. Oh. The nigga had the full. <laughs> the full Kanai. He had the Carl Kanai, Top nigga. to bottom. Like, that's hip. So, look, when I was walking away, I hit him with that shit. I was like, oh, so that's hip hop. And she was like, what did you say? She came to me like. <laughs> I was how, like. How uh, dare you speak. <laughs> Yeah. I'm the white woman. She was the she was a black woman. What? She was black, dude. Wow. She was black. She hit me with the. No, we, I'm sorry. We need somebody to tip hop. Wow. <laughs> Is that right? And then what's funny though when the video came out, he I wasn't made, even in the shit. I was in the shit, and dude wasn't. I believe it. Yeah, because someone was looking like that. Because my moves was so tight, nigga. Okay, you had to move. Now that's hip hop. That's what they said. <laughs> that's hip hop. Yeah, in the editing bay, <laughs> like, wait, he's doing something different. Yeah, now that's hip hop. And then I remember Chili was on the swing, like these niggas can't dance. And shit, she said it like a little louder than she wanted to. <laughs> And I was sitting there like, damn, Chili, I heard you and shit. She was like, well, shit, niggas can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> she the one that got you in the video. She, she the what? Oh, she, she, made, she yeah, might she, have. She, she's the one. That's she it. might now, have. Now, that nigga can dance right there. Chili went to Clark, man. Maybe she saw me in Atlanta and shit and would just remember my flavor and shit. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Had that Clark flavor. Mm-hmm. That Clis art. No, I remember that, dude. Get him out of here. So you are a dancer? Well, I can't, I'm not a dancer type nigga, but I can dance and shit. That's why my nickname is Mike Boogie. But when you go to the party, do you dance? I do. I be the fuck main. I be I the main you, nigga man. that dance. I literally go straight to the dance floor, and I'll have like ten girls around me because they be out there dancing alone and shit. I'll be like, oh no, nah, I'm not one of these sorry niggas that won't dance. I miss that era in life where you had to go to the party. 
and dance. Yeah, man. I, I do. You know, I actually used to practice my moves, dude. Wow. To, to dance with a lady type move? Just, just you know, just knowing what I'm going to be getting into and shit. Like, not like a... Not like no fucking. Did you have steps or what? what Waltz and shit. Did you have steps? No, no, nigga. I didn't have One, steps. Two, I'm more like a freestyle four, dancer type. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga mixed Tybo and dancing. <sighs> oh yeah, nah, dude. But niggas used to do that though in my era. Motherfucker, it'd be about three or four niggas that had the same moves next to each other, pre-planned. <laughs> Hey, when they play this shit, we're going to do it. Ah, uh, nigga be up in Maverick's flat and shit. Maverick's this is, flat. I used to be up in Maverick's flat, and they all they had was a juice license and shit. Yo, you <laughs> used to dance at Maverick's flat? I used to be up in there. That's crazy. Man, I used to be up in Maverick's flat, and uh, nigga, mm, That's niggas would crazy. Be sweating. That's crazy. I thought Maverick's flat was a comedy club. <laughs> No, nah, Maverick's Flat was parties, and it became comedy after, way after the fact. That's dope. You used to dance at Maverick's Flat? I used to, man. I used wow. to go right to the dance floor, man. That's my move. That's my main thing I do. Even when I be in other countries and shit, nigga, I go and motherfuckers just be watching me and shit just because I'm so weird and shit. They be thinking that shit is fresh, nigga. Like, ooh, look at me. Look at him dance. And I go straight to the DJ, too, man. That's how I do it. I be like, yo, homie, what you drinking? He'd be like, whatever, whatever. Be like, yeah, nigga, this West Coast, nigga, play some shit. Nigga. They be like, oh, like, I haven't had a request in, like, five years and shit. <laughs> what is the one song that you had to request when you're out the country? Like, You know what? Shit. Niggas don't be, okay, so I've had these situations where they don't know what the fuck you're saying. And you just got to be like, Snoop Dogg. And they be like, ah, yeah. Like, you can't mm. be talking about ain't no fun to the homies, can't okay, have none, okay. or make, you doing your exact artist. shit. Yeah, you got to say shit niggas okay. know. And niggas always know Snoop Dogg. <clears throat> um, who do you think was, because we're talking West Coast music, who do you think was some of the dopest West Coast groups? Name me five West Coast old school groups. Give me five of them. Groups? Groups. Okay, so since we're talking about groups and we're talking the West Coast, nigga, the best group is the Alcoholics, nigga. All right, shout out to the Licks. I fuck with it. Uh, that is absolutely one hundred percent. Then I guess I would go with the Dog Pound next. Number two, okay. Then um, we're talking groups. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Slow motion, Mike. Pull yourself back. Slow yourself down. Um, it's got to be NWA. It's got to be number one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. you already said you already yeah. said it, my nigga. That was NWA is number one. I don't know if dude. that was nepotism or what, but you <laughs> yeah. put the licks first. So I put the homies. The licks, come on, man. But you, look. You already said it. No, a- NWA first, back. then the licks, then uh, the dog pound. Dog pound. Then who else is there? Shit. Just, there's a lot of groups. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Um, damn. Who is next? I don't know. Mm. Help me out. Who am I missing? I like the far side. Far side? I can fuck with the far side. And uh, I probably know I'm missing somebody really good. Um, I don't know, man. I can't think. Four groups from the West Coast. Melrose, help me out. What's your top? What's your five? Name five. Um... <clears throat> I was a big Above the Law fan. Oh! I used to fuck with Above the Law. Ah, uh, I fucks with Above the Law. Okay, I'll throw them at my five. Um, Cypress Hill. Ooh. I fuck with Cypress. Damn. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, you know, and then, of course, uh, NWA was at the top of my list. And uh, Dog Pound. And let me see. I wasn't a real huge far side fan. Oh, you wasn't a huge far side. I, yeah, okay, that's fair. My wife used to fuck with one of the niggas from the far side. So oh, without well, a like, do mm, it, nigga. Mm, <laughs> them niggas can't rap. Yeah, them niggas pass me by. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, my dear, my dear, you like that? <laughs> uh, my dear, my dear, my dear. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, <laughs> can't keep running away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what you like, for real. Mm. Uh, you okay. like them far side type niggas. Yeah. All right, man, who else, bro? How many did you name? That was three, four? That was three, four, five. That was five. Four? No, you need one more. Hmm. Uh, the Dove Shack movement. Oh, hell no, nigga. We I, talking about tops? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have many. God damn. Nigga. I say Digital Underground, nigga, before them. Shit. Mm, I wouldn't. Dove Shack? The whole little... Uh, what, I got five on it, niggas? Is that them? Them the loonies. Oh, them the loonies. Dove what? Shack. Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah! They had a come little on, era. Come on, they had a little era, come, man. Come was a, there was there was a Long Beach era that you couldn't deny. Nigga, everything. You know what I mean? Oh, well, let me say this. Let me say this. Literally, you didn't let say me, the no, dog no, pound, no, but no. you said dove. Shack. No, I said the dog pound. But uh, two, I was kind of a fan of uh, Conscious Daughters. You fuck with them? I remember them. I can't remember the songs though. Yeah, funky wait, wait. expedition. Ah. Oh! Mm-hmm. Conscious Daughters was dope. Yeah, it was. Yeah. They're they not in my tops, though. Nigga, we don't, it, like, 10 is the, it. Like, if you're naming ladies, I say Yo Yo first. She wasn't in the group, though. Oh, she was not in the group. Nah. Nigga, you know you like JJ Fad, nigga. I did. I did. Nama, 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 nama. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. it. <laughs> did she ever really say, that was. Those, were those written words? Potus, what you think? Were, I those, think, were those words? She no, said, she she said no. That, that means no. That means no. Because Portis know all the insight on all that. Yeah, that was it. Portis was probably at the radio station like, oh, can you submit your written lyrics? Uh, we have to make sure that. <laughs> and they never did. Uh, that's pretty funny. Everybody, there's so many like sing, um, um, solo acts, though, man, out here. What about West Side Connection? You call them a group? I do. Yeah. They was hot. West Side Connection was dope. Comp is most wanted. Fuck with them. MC8. All them. No? Yeah, I did a little bit. Yeah, they I was fuck dope. With MC8. Um, who else is there? Uh, what was the Dub C group? Dub C had a group. Oh, the Mad Circle? Mad Circle, yeah. Dub C. Yeah. yeah. I fuck with Mad Circle. <clears throat> no, they was, they was tight. Mm hmm. Low, oh, low yeah. profile. True. That was first, right? <clears throat> then they had a little Watch Profits. They had, um, we had some groups, man. We did have some groups. Bring back the West Coast groups. A lot of y'all niggas shouldn't be uh, solo artists. Y'all need a couple more niggas to do 16s with y'all. Man, That's they can't what I get along, man. Why not? Yeah. Negroes, man. Ah. Because I said they can't. <laughs> I, it's by design. I put, I put it into unity. Uh-huh. You get money by yourself or nothing. Oh, man. Well, Melrose, we got to wrap up? this thing up, man. All right, man. Hey, Mike, it was, uh, it was fun kicking it with you, man. It's a pleasure talking an hour about everything. Everything and anything. Is something and anything. Yes, everything right? and anything. Well, I did have some profound questions available, um, um, prepared that we will save. For who? The the girl? Uh huh. Yeah, my homegirl, man. My homegirl wouldn't lead me astray, man. Like, did you get fucked on tour? <laughs> she will slap me, dude. If I said that, dude, uh, I would get slapped. Not me, because I'm over like, here. She'd yeah, you here. could. Ah. And and then she'd be like, "You ain't slapped that nigga." <laughs> 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 you know I did, Mike. Ah, funny. I wasn't a good girl. Ah, <clears throat> all right, man. Well, look, I'm Mike Robertson. Y'all gotta check me out, man. I'll be all over and um, stuck stepping my stage game up and all that good stuff, man. And we doing this. Um, got a film I just worked on called Park that's gonna be coming out soon. That shit is beautiful. And um, shit, man, come to my pop barber shop, Fantastic Floyds, man. We need some people, man. Word up, word up. Melrose is on you. Uh, be on the lookout. I'm doing my uh, one hour comedy special live from Black Hollywood sometime in November. Okay. I'm going to be selling tickets and giving tickets away. It's going to be one of the funniest shows that I've ever seen. Uh, and come to my barbershop, Black Hollywood. It's where everything is good in the hood. 
Hey, you know what? I am. I'm a little less ambitious. I'm doing my special, but it's 30 minutes, and that's just probably in December. And the shit is called faded and opinionated. Mm. The realest shit I ever Damn. joked. Oh, really? Yeah. The realest shit I ever joked. The realest shit I ever yeah. joked. All right, man. POTUS, thanks again. Shout out Morris Media. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do the damn thing. Holla.